Legendary bog body Old Krogan Man was discovered in 2003 in the surrounding bogs of Krogan Hill in Central Ireland. He lived in the height of the Celtic Iron Age between the years of 326 BCE to 175 BCE. He is thought to be in his mid-twenties and based off the measurement of his arm spin, it is estimated that his height towered at 6 foot 5 inches. Only his upper torso was discovered, which was decorated with a leather armband. His mysterious remains lead us to question, who was he? How did he die? And why did he die? From the analysis of Old Krogan Man, forensic archaeologists understand Old Krogan Man to be an elite member of society. His perfectly preserved and well-kept fingernails and absence of calluses suggest he rarely performed physical labour before his death, a hallmark of an elite individual. Additionally, the armband that decorated his remains was plated with leather and decorated alloy fillings, which is most likely a religious symbol. Furthermore, scientific analysis of Old Krogan Man's stomach contents reveal that his final meal consisted of buttermilk and cereals, which indicates a healthy and wholesome diet typical of the time period. These factors culminate together to form the picture of a healthy and wealthy elite individual described as the golden boy of the tribe. If so, then why do his remains indicate immense suffering? Old Krogan Man was violated using a method described in Irish folklore. He received a fatal laceration wound to his chest, but from the presence of several cut marks on his left arm, he appears to have resisted the attack. He was further stabbed with a knife which ruptured his lung. Furthermore, he was dismembered and disemboweled and appears to have been tortured as both his nipples were cut off. This overkill, typical of Iron Age bog bodies, suggests that he was a victim of something with immense cultural significance. A prominent interpretation of Old Krogan Man is that he was a man who failed to obtain kingship, who was ritually sacrificed to appeal to the fertility goddess in her three different forms using the threefold death method, evident in the way he appears to have died. In Iron Age culture, bogs were places associated with fertility, abundance and production. Additionally, dedicated offerings have been located in bogs that marked boundaries in Celtic Ireland including cauldrons, weapons, decorated dresses, and golden collars. These objects are interpreted to define a king's sovereignty, reaching the boundaries of his land. The sacrifice of humans to the fertility goddess would ensure a good harvest and protection of the borders of their territory. Additionally, the cutting off of his nipples may have been an attempt to render him ineligible for the throne. This is based on an ancient Irish gesture of suckling a king's nipple to show submission. The act of removing such a culturally symbolic body part would have made Old Krogan Man incapable of kingship. This is not the only theory concerning Old Krogan Man and by no means will it be the last, but it's interesting to think of an aspiring king losing the vote, battle and his life in an extremely horrific manner, all for the gods and all for the throne.